Danish uh, approach involved in this festival or initiative. Um, I was really excited actually because for several reasons. One is that I think it's uh, tremendously important um, to support and to help um, nurture um, an, an, an initiative that is genuinely uh, designed to provide the opportunity for young performers to develop um, towards the level of artistic professionalism that we're talking about when you're working within the context of uh, full-time dancing. It's a very different, uh, it's a very, very different uh, level of um, professional ethic, um, uh, skills, uh, and ability to negotiate uh, the notion of practice. So I particularly am very passionate about that and so it was very refreshing um, to, to uh, find um, an organization and, and of course because I know Omesh and, and um, he's very honest um, um, love and passion for the development of young dancers. Um, it was very important for me to be involved. That was the first uh, aspect of it. Um, the second thing which I found really fascinating was a kind of going back to its roots because for me the Temple of Fine Arts um, in terms of its lineage uh, was first and foremost about a kind of diverse collective of dance genres that was being developed and I'm talking about the period when I was a child so the, early, the beginning of early 80s to mid 80s where really you had a language that was being developed uh, that was informed by several other languages. And so the kind of construction of what I would refer to as a hybrid dancer, actually before I went to the West, the first place I saw it happen was at the Temple of Fine Arts. It's a very uh, fashionable word today in the West in terms of notions of hybridity, diversity, uh, versatility. But as a young child student, I saw it first here. I mean, I remember so clearly seeing productions like Swan Lake, for example, uh, where the whole kind of dramaturgy of Swan Lake taken from, I don't know if many people know this, but from the Soviet version of Swan Lake as well, uh, that was kind of uh, created by using this kind of um, a language that, that engaged with so many different disciplines of um, Indian dance traditions and that at the same time was so uh, definably Malaysian uh, was, was su had, had such an in impact and imprint on me from the time I was a child and so I found this idea of uh, having an ensemble that would be performing um, various uh, 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 genres uh, through a range of repertoire um, but being essentially diverse but at the same time um, definably anchored within each genre um, extremely exciting um, and for me it was something that was going back to what I always felt was a very beautiful uh, very clear individualistic uh, style that the Temple of Fine Arts kind of had and, and um, I think that was important to support as well. The third uh, reason, as I just mentioned to the dancers before, was for, for a very personal reason, uh, which was that this year is my 25th anniversary since I first started working professionally as a soloist in Bharatanatyam. And it just seems so right that uh, I believe in circles a lot. And so it just seems so right that I would come back to this space uh, and really, uh, give my offering back uh, to the space and to the energy of the space, to the philosophy of the space um, by working with uh, the new generation of, of, of the space as well. So that was important.